everyone, welcome back to the very last week of UT Mental. And this week we are focusing on the five ways to well-being and I'm focusing on giving back. So what are some ways that you can give back to your community? I know it may seem like you're always really busy as a student, but there are actually quite a few ways that you could do it uh, through the internet. It's quick and easy and it takes about five minutes. One really easy way you can give back to the community is to go through this website called freekibble.com. And what you do is you answer one trivia question about dogs each day and regardless if you if you get it right or you get it wrong, you donate 10 pieces of kibble to the dogs that are in need. Well, after you answer the trivia question about dogs, you can click this link right here that is outlined and it will bring you to the website that you feed cats. So here's what the website looks like. It's freekibblecat.com, cat with a K. And you answer the trivia question. Uh, in this case I got it right, which is awesome, I just guessed. And there you go, we just gave 10 kibbles to a cat in need. One bad thing about this website, I guess, is that you can only answer one question a day. But, if you would like, you can go through the archive and click this archive that's highlighted. And after you click the archive, it will bring you to a series of questions that has been asked in the past, and you can see if you got it right or you got it wrong. There's also a website called freerice.com and when you go there it brings you to a default screen of English vocabulary and what we got is address means and you have to try to find the synonym so it's location once you give that a click you get it right you donate 10 grains of rice and I believe it is unlimited and you can as well change subjects and subjects is highlighted in the red box give that a click and it shows you humanities, English, math, chemistry, language learning, geography, sciences, and test preparation. So if you'd like to gain a little bit more knowledge in any of these fields, and perhaps you are studying for the SAT, this is a great tool, and you can also give food to help feed those that are hungry. You can also send mail to sick children through this website called Hugs and Hope. And you simply click the link, what can I do? And for our purpose, we're going to click send mail. Under step one, you will see this link. Uh, it will bring you to a list of sick children that would really love to receive mail. And don't worry, the address is not actually theirs. It will be forwarded to the children directly after that. If you're going on vacation, please visit this website, Pack for a Purpose. And all you really need is five pounds of extra space. And what you can bring with five pounds are 400 pencils, five deflated soccer balls with an inflation device, a stethoscope, a blood pressure cuff, and 500 band-aids. And once you click select your destination, there are places such as Africa, South America, Central America, Caribbean, North America, Asia, South Asia, Southeast Asia, Europe, and Oceania. If you've been considering giving blood, I would highly suggest doing it. I've done it myself. And you can visit blood.ca or you can call 1-888 to donate. And and they'll just refer you to a registered Canadian Blood Services location and you can do your preliminary check and come back I believe in a week or two and actually donate blood and the process itself is really fast it takes about five to ten minutes and afterwards you get juice boxes and cookies and snacks which is amazing and what I would suggest is if you were to donate blood uh, if it's your first time just have the entire day off because you will get quite tired and drink a lot of water before you go so those are some really quick and easy ways that you can help. Uh, just let me know what you've done. Thank you for watching and tune in tomorrow for Nolan's take on his aspect of five ways to well-being. See you later.